you know, Bigfoot here really reminds me of Harambe. Oh, jeez, how old is that meme? Hey everybody, it's the McMaster 14. Welcome back to more Scribblenauts Unlimited. In the last episode, we did some stuff here in the Meta Forest, and we met Bigfoot, aka Harambe. I don't know how old that meme is, guys. And anyway, let's just get out of here. This time I think we should head to... Should we head to a desert level? Camel Case Oasis. Abjad Dunes. Tomb of Onomatopoeia. Let's go there. For those of you who don't know, an onomatopoeia is basically a sound word. You know, like the ones you would see in the old Batman cartoon, like... Crash, bam, boom, bam. <laughs> also, we can't be seen wearing stuff like this. Get rid of our shades. Instead, let's get in a pharaoh. How do you? I don't know how do you spell pharaoh. Phantom hat. That's not what I meant. I don't know how you spell pharaoh. Eh. eh. I don't. I don't really know what we should. Do we just get in a scepter? Perfect. Now we look like a pharaoh. Oh, are you Indiana Jones? Oh yeah, you, you put on like an Indiana Jones hat. Let me decipher these hieroglyphics. All right. Can we just get in an explorer hat? No, apparently we can't. Alright. Alright, so these hieroglyphics. We have a heron, a tiny backhoe, a frog, and a flame bird. It's not totally obvious what you need, but what you do need is a pharaoh. If I can actually, if I actually know how to spell stuff. Archaeology 101. And I believe this jar, giant frog suit also needs help. These frogs are on this final way to feast the frog god. I was going, uh, let's get in a willy pad. Perfect. Alright, so that... That whole mission with like the hieroglyphics and the pharaoh stuff, that mission gave me a lot of trouble on my first playthrough. I could not figure it out. Alright, so I can almost read these hieroglyphics. Can you show me what they mean? How do you not know what this means? It's a slug and a snail shell. It is obviously a bird. I'm just kidding, it's a snail. <laughs> Ancient wisdom. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be your brother. You're, you're stupid. Alright, so we have an alien over here. I need to get home. How do we contact the mothership? I know that's an E.T. reference. I just know it. Contact the mothership. All you just need is a phone. Yeah, use this. Drop me a line. Hey! Can I go out there too? Okay. Hey, wait, dude! Dude, you forgot, you forgot your phone! Going home, okay. Hmm. Alright, so. This, this drive is dangerous. Put something in it. Alright, put something sticky in it. Wait, it was sticky, right? We just need duct tape. You know, when I was younger, I always thought duct tape was, like, tape that was made for ducks or something. Sticky spikes are very... The spikes are very... All right, you just stole some old furniture, dude. Uncalled for. All right, great orders have stolen our furniture. Can you give us something in the same condition as what we have? You still have, like, a couch and stuff. That's, that's pretty good. Sandy sofa... I don't know if I curtain. 
an old dusty dresser. Perfect. Hey, you got a TV in here. They, they didn't have TVs back in the uh, in the ancient Egypt times. You guys need to get your history right. All right so how many missions do we? All right, we only have one more actually. All right. If I'm not really able to, to, to correctly predict the future, Pharaoh will have me buried alive. That's that's cruel. What do you use to predict the future? Um, I guess a crystal. Ball. Use this. this now. Oh. That looks awesome! Yeah, that, that looks cool! <laughs> Alright, let's head let's head back over to the other side of the pyramid. You know what is there? Making a mummy! Ooh, that sounds cool! Making of a mummy, help the mortician create an eternal- Oh, this is awesome! Help the mortician create an eternal mummy. Oh, this looks- This already looks awesome. Hmm. Help the mortician make a mummy. First, let's any... Alright, the sarcophatron, that's an awesome name. Nice stature. Can we just get in? We just get in the pres, the president. There we go, Obama. <laughs> Next, add something for the mummy to be wrapped in. Can we just get in some tape? Audio tape. Apparently, that didn't work. Alright, maybe we just need to get in... Maybe we need to get sticky tape. Ah. Hey, it worked! Finally, add a compound to use as an embalming fluid. Now, I'm going to say this right now. This is another one that gave me a lot of trouble. What we need to put in there is meth and... all. Aha. That's what you need. <laughs> a mummy wearing shades. If I can create a mummy wearing shades, I'll know I've done something right. Now with that, let's get our star right and get out of here. 70 stars. And obviously since this world was really short, I'm going to be doing another level. Alright, so we're, let's head to the world map. And let's let's stay in let's stay in the confines of the desert. Should we, let's head to Camel Case Oasis. <laughs> That's another short one. Welcome to Camel Case Oasis. I don't think cheetahs live in the desert. I'm pretty sure they live in like Africa or something. Uh, ooh, that penguin is unhappy. Penguins. Penguins have feathers that are made for very, very cold temperatures, and it is very, very hot here. I'm homesick. I think you're a little more than homesick. You, you, you have like, you might have like a fever or something. All right, let's get in an igloo. That <laughs> work. Far from home. Hey, you're fine now. This toy barrel needs to be filled with something. Yellow barrel. Obviously, it's a barrel of monkeys reference. They can actually spell. Why are they red in a in a yellow barrel? That doesn't make sense. You're a firewalker. Ouch! These coals are too hot. Can we just make it cold? Get a cold coal. I like how turning one cold and cold allowed all of them to be cold too. Yeah, I said I said coal a lot there. You're Milo. Help me find the lost fountain of you. Alright, so you need 
a microscope. That'll help you. Apparently it did. Alright, maybe you need like a map or something. That worked. Hey, there it is! He's really tiny now. Fountain of you. Young Milo. <laughs> cool. How many missions have we done? Four out of seven. Wow. Alright, take me for a ride. Magic carpet? Oh, I love magic carpet rides! <laughs> Look at all these clouds and birds are here. Flying carpet ride. A game, it's Magic Carpet Ride. Those are the lyrics from the song from the movie Aladdin. Actually, you know what? Give me this. No, I didn't mean to attack! I know the carpet's not mad with me. Alright, so we only have two missions left. You're a gray elephant. You're a cheetah. These snakes look angry. I need to charm them somehow. Uh, don't they, don't, didn't they use like a clair in net? Actually, no, wait. They didn't use a clarinet. They use like a, a flute or something. But I'm giving you a clarinet anyway. Yeah, perfect. Charmed, I'm sure. I know! A leprechaun! I'm perplexed. It's the end of the rainbow, and yet, some, yet somehow something is missing. Alright, you just need a pot of gold. <laughs> ah, at the edge of the rainbow. Yeah, because there, that, because that is not at all a myth or a legend. Yeah, I always believe that whole thing, like you could find a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. And whenever I saw a rainbow, I would always try to chase it to the end of it to see if there, to see if there ever was a pot of gold. I wish I knew that rainbows were just an illusion. Are, are rainbows an illusion? I don't know. I'm not a rainbow expert right here, but let's just do the blue mission. Maxwell the Great. Travels come see and have their wish granted by, by the genie and give them what they see. Oh, so I'm a genie now. Why do I look like a... Wait, who are you? The great genie master offers three wishes of the divine. Give the merchant three things to sell. Alright, obviously you need a donut. You can sell that. Alright, how about a neck? How about a necklace? Alright, that worked. Give me this donut. Okay, so you have a necklace. How about a... How about a spice? You can sell that too. And what else can you sell? How about a fish? You will sell fish, right? Apparently not. Remove. What else can you sell? I guess, a tool? No, you can't sell that either. You can sell all this stuff. You can sell virtually anything. Alright, so, you need... What is one more thing that a person can sell? How about just straight out food? I can't believe that worked. You, you would sell... You would sell an apple, but you wouldn't sell a hammer. The desert is no place for a vampire. Grant me three wishes to make it more bearable. Alright, obviously, you need shades. Obviously, even though it looks like they just disappeared. You're going to need an umbrella. Umbrella. Perfect. And also, you're just going to need some water. Perfect. Hey, I actually got I actually got that on my first try. I wonder if you're funny. Please grant me three wishes. Yeah, I don't think clowns are funny anymore, but nevertheless. 
Let's get a pie. You'd also get a monkey, because obviously monkeys are, are what makes clowns more funny. You just picked them up and put them in your pocket. And the last thing you need is a bike, obviously. You just, <laughs> you just took the wheels off the bike and put it in your pocket? That's weird. Alright, so we have our star right. Also, those guys weren't rubbing the lamp. I don't have to grant their wishes if they don't rub the lamp. Alright, well that's level complete, and... I think... Wait, what's happening here? Why is it just randomly zooming in on the Fountain of Youth? That was weird. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time on Scribble Knots Unlimited, we'll be going to another place and helping more people out and hopefully doing stuff like we did this episode. See you guys next time. McMaster, out.